Signs of life along the Suez Canal. The conditions a world away from the high winds and poor visibility last week that apparently caused the Ever Given to angle across the passage, lodging its front and rear into the ground. As excavators and dredges cleared 30,000 cubic metres of mud and sand, a flotilla of 13 tugboats helped dislodge the ship. We used the water power that was in the canal with the returning tides to push the vessel where we were pulling it. And the combination of the two, as we hoped, at the end of the day did the trick. As the Ever Given undergoes safety checks, the focus has shifted to clearing a traffic jam of over 400 vessels. With other ships still arriving, the Suez Canal Authority says it expects around 113 vessels to travel in either direction every 12 hours. If we keep moving at this pace, we may make up the loss in around three and a half days. We won't sleep. This is a new challenge and we will work day and night until we clear them. But some ships have already left the region, heading towards other ports that will inevitably become jammed and taking longer routes that will cause further delay. Now we used to have big fact, uh, warehouses in, in all the countries where the factories pulled supplies and then allowed to deplete. Now these floating ships are the warehouse. So if a container of little ball bearings doesn't get to the factory in Germany, it could shut down the whole production line. Analysts are also debating what the shipping industry should do next, given the pandemic has led to a surge in demand for goods and the cargo ships that carry them are set to get bigger. There'll be an investigation, clearly, because this has had such a big impact. Um, and, you know, exactly what's happened here, I think, will be, uh, will be debated for some time. You know, what, what do we do going forward to ensure it doesn't happen again? Again, I would, I would leave that to the competent authorities uh, that, that are in Egypt, because, look, it's in their interests. Authorities will also look into the conduct of two Egyptian pilots on board, whose job is to help guide vessels through the canal, though Egyptian law makes clear they're not liable for any damage during their watch. Manny Sigas, ABC News.